fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Boom! I'm in your face! Look at me! Ha <laughs> ha! Tomorrow, by the way, new arc launches. Also, tonight, after this video, there's another video coming out later. Hey, we're gonna do a little bit of a preview, let you know what's happening in January 2024. Bam! Alright, enough dramaticness. Today, we're gonna do some bad crew video. Been a couple months since we did this, but I've been stocking up all my energy and I got something exciting to announce in this one because you are actually going to help somebody get something for free. Yeah! By using the comment section, I want you to tell me what you think the worst crew was. Number one, two, three, or four. Whoever gets the most comments wins. Now, what do they win? Great question, chat. Now, they can either win a battle pass that I pay for or a mug. This mug. Special mug. This mug will only go to people who submit the worst crews and win by your voting. The worst crew mug. It's got me on it. Or you can get a battle pass. It's up to you. Most people will probably choose a free battle pass. But anyway, we have in our Discord a channel there where you can submit bad crews. You can determine who's the winner. And we've got some doozies because we just had incursions. Two things incursions guarantees to do. Divide the community between people who love it and hate it. And two, give us tons and tons of bad crews. And we're starting off with some doozies. Starting with this one. We've got a spender over here with a crozier who decided that they wanted to run Giorgio, Tilly, Chicote. Let's talk about why they might wanted to have done such a thing. Why they've chosen this path in life and why they made the decision that they did. So we're going to actually highlight the ship. We're going to move it over to the side and highlight just that ship. Bam, just like that. Look at the power of editing. Isn't it cool? Don't you wish you could do it? You could. Just, you know, slave your life away in front of a computer. Don't see outside because it's outside's overrated. All right, we're going to move it up a little bit. Scroll on down after we sort by group. And let's take a look at these different officers, what they do, why this is kind of crazy, and why I'm like, wow. Okay, <laughs> it's coming on down. We got to find Tilly because who uses this Tilly? Because it's not Captain Tilly. It's Green Tilly. 40% chance to increase opponent's officer attack. Or I'm sorry, decrease opponent's officer attack by 15% when hit. Now, the good news is, is that this was raiding a station, so it's going to get hit. So that's going to proc. But does 40% or 15% at tier 3 is what I have. And let's just assume it's maxed. Is it really going to do anything? No, not, not at all. This is a horrible officer to choose for base rating. Really bad. It's not a good one. Then you got Giorgio, which does make sense, kind of. And you synergize with their Versailles if, you, if the opponent's burning, decrease the attack. Like, I get it because of the burning, but I don't get it because of this. Like, why are we trying to decrease all officers' tax stats? Like, you need to be destroying the station. When you're raiding a base, the problem is the station's guns. This doesn't help. And then you got burning, which I don't mind burning. We can use burning in a variety of ways. And then last, but certainly not least, we've got the new officer in Chicote. Increases critical hit chance, 12% against Armadas. Not sure if y'all know this, a base does not count as an Armada. Though they did promise us PvP Armadas five years ago and they've never happened and maybe this player is simply preparing for that one day. But yeah. That crew number one. If you like this one, vote in the comment section down below, but don't worry. There's more. Bam, look at this one. We've got so close to being good. Why did you do this? It's not even like he looks like Lorca. We got a Sanctus being taken down by a Vorcha. Shout out to the Klingon Empire, winning another one. Klingons know how to crew. Evidence, picture above. So this one, most of you will understand the first two on the left, right? You'll understand the Captain Freeman. You'll understand Honor Guard War. Freeman is, of course, for those that are unaware, probably... I hate to use the word OP because I feel like it gets overused and things aren't always actually OP, but legitimately this one's kind of OP. So we're going to take a look at this officer. So you got to go to Carol Freeman. Vocal jazz at the combat start increases your shots by 100%. That's really good. Even without synergy, that's very good. And then Cerrito Strong. If the enemy player has any state, increases your isolated cascade damage by 60%. So you would want Hull Breach or Burning or something to take advantage of the officer ability, which is where she really starts to stand out. 
but appropriate crew for hitting a base. Completely fine. Onagar Wharf gives you critical, but then you had Spock. Now, for those that don't know, maybe you're a newer player of the game. This is trying to tell you how to not crew. Spock is actually a really good officer for players in the 20s and even 30s for shield regeneration, but he loses his effectiveness at four star, five star, and six star. He's no longer viable at those levels. But he will regenerate your shields if you have morale. Nobody up there is giving you morale. Nobody. Nope. Especially not in PvP. Ah, what? Like, if somebody has a Saintus, you figure that... Like, because we're not talking about... This is not like a hot swap situation where somebody brought their mining crew or their armada crew and like, hey, I got a big old ship. I'm just going to smack your base. They had to put that officer in there. There is no reason a player over level 40 should ever have Spock on the bridge of a ship anymore. Unless they're like bringing out an old Indra for funsies. I don't know. Or the Discover. I don't know. But it's no. No, 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 no. That's number two. But wait, there's more. Booyah, number three. We've got a Talios. One of my favorite ships in Star Trek Fleet Command. I love the Talios. I think it's fantastic. But what is this crew? Okay. Let's talk. So this crew is a mixture of the Explorer Strike Team, which if it isn't obvious, the Talios is an interceptor. You can tell by the icon at the top right of the Talios. It, it says it's an interceptor. But let's go ahead and rotate this on out and let's talk about the officers that were chosen. I have no issue with Wei Yun. Uh, Wei Yun is actually a really good officer. Arguably, maybe the best epic of the Strike Teams. I mean, they're all really good. Silver Tongue. A chance to apply morale. That's without synergy, obviously, for three rounds. And then down here, increasing your weapon shots. So same thing we talked about with Freeman's captain's ability. It's his officer ability. It's pretty good. Then you've got an officer that some people think is lower decks, but is actually Explorer Strike Team and Jack Ransom. So this makes sense on an Explorer. And again, we're doing as you know ca isolated cascade damage. So same thing we talked about. Basically take Freeman and split her into two, and that's what you have with this setup is fine on the appropriate ship but then you lose me completely with this scroll up to our lower decks officers and boimler why like his officer ability is increases armor piercing and shield piercing by like a heck of low percent like what well, there's no reason for that. Like, literally put him below decks, and now he's somewhat useful. There's never, even if you were a brand new player in the game, you were a new player, you somehow at level 20 ended up with Brad Boimler. He still doesn't go on your bridge. This is nothing. A 40% boost to every ship in this game is nothing. That's... That's number three. That's number three. And last and certainly not least, Boo Boy number four. Remember, I need y'all in the comment section. Let me know what you think is the worst. We'll, we'll wrap it up here at the very end. We have got Picard, Picard, or Old Man Picard, Captain Janeway, and Zhao. Now, let's actually discuss this because there is a discussion to be had for this one. And it's an interesting discussion. It is... I don't know if I'd call it like a inform. What what's the word I'm looking for there? Like it's not a mm, words are, are getting really hard right now, so I don't know what to even call it. But what I basically am saying is that like you can try to process the idea maybe of where they were going. Maybe you can get an idea of where they were going, but I still am just sitting here like, yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, no worries. We're going to. Talk about it as we have. So this is number four. So let's talk about Picard, Picard. Back on out, get back into our group. And again, if you're watching this and you are a newer player, these are reasons why not to do this because a lot of these just don't apply. Captain's ability, seize the time. At the start of the round, Admiral Picard has a 90% chance of rocking morale. So technically that's good for Zal. This is a Valdor though, so we're in four star, but I mean, technically it works. And we are on an Explorer. Increases your ship's base weapons damage on combat against an explorer. No! Yeah, see, you see the problem there? Like, literally so close. Like, just so close. You did get morale, which is good. I'll show you why in a second. But 
Officer ability literally doesn't work on this ship because you're on an explorer. You need to be fighting an explorer. So close. So close. All right. Who else do we have here? We've got Janeway. Let's cover Janeway, then we'll go to Zhao. Janeway, uh, bend the rules. At the start of combat, increases your isolated cascade against non-player hostiles. Keyword, non-player. Can you guess what bad crew videos are always about? PvP. So, doesn't work at all. Didn't do Jack Diddley Kumquat, except look beautiful. She's a beautiful lady. She's absolutely gorgeous. But Kate Mulgrew's not saving your butt here. And then we finally have Zhao, literally the only officer doing anything in this setup. We're going to go find Zhao. It's been so long. Zhao's actually a classic. Like he, If you are a newer player, this can be valuable if you manage to get it maxed. Increases the shield deflection armor and dodge by 300% of the crew's defense. Now, if you are defense stacking, that can be helpful. He's the only one working here. And when an uncommon officer in 2024 is your only working officer in a setup, I got bad news for you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bad setup. That's not good. It's not good at all. No, not good at all. That's bad. Yeah, in 2024, if an uncommon officer is the only one that's working, you have done something horribly wrong. But remember, you get to vote on all four of these. Number one is right above, number two is in the top right corner, number three is behind me, and number four is to your right and my left. Which do you think is the worst crew? And if you would like to be able to submit bad crews for when we do this now every month, and you want the potential of winning a battle pass or a mug, all you gotta do is join the Discord. Link is in the description down below. Comment one, two, three, or four on which one that you think is the worst. And then that person who submitted the photo in our Discord will win. So congratulations to whoever the winners are gonna be. I'm excited to see this is a new way of doing it. And my golly, Miss Molly, you, you gotta prepare some energy for these because woo doggy is what it is. I'm personally kind of excited for the mug. I hope people choose the mug because I just, I like the mug. I'm weird. I also designed it, but I like the mug. Worst crew. I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna get it. I might, you know what, I will, I will. Cause I've got my DJ mug right here and it reminds me every day, you were right, I was wrong. I'll sit down and be wrong. That's what DJ told me. That's good times. Love y'all, live long and plunder. Stay safe with those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next Star Trek Flinky Man video, which is literally in a few hours. Bye. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.